intro. Indeed. Fascinating. Hi everybody, this is Diana, aka Pop Culture Diva 42, and this is a video reply of sorts to Like and Fan's latest installment of Overheated Underrated. Like and Fan is a guy here on uh, YouTube that does great critical commentary of movies, television shows, books, comic books, even video games. And Overheated Underrated is a series where he talks about products like those mentioned uh, who, dis who get way too much hate or who don't get appreciation enough. So in the latest installment of this series, he talked about Matrix Revolutions. Like and Fan being a fan of the entire series, so he has no hate for Matrix Reloaded or Matrix Revolutions. He provides some very good arguments for why Matrix Revolutions does not deserve all the hate that it gets and this inspired me to make my own video talking about Matrix Revolutions referencing some of his arguments specifically, some of his bigger arguments because he goes into a lot of stuff in the first part of that installment of Overhated Underrated but I'm going to focus mostly on what he said in the second part of the video because there are two videos uploaded because I feel that's where my uh, personal regrets towards Matrix Revol Revolutions lie. Like and Fan makes the obvious argument that no matter how the Matrix series would have ended, it still wouldn't have possibly satisfied everybody. I don't demand 100% satisfaction, I just demand that you make the best movie that you can possibly make. And Matrix Revolution was not that way, it was a lot of wasted potential. So Like and Fan makes a great case for Matrix Revolutions as a war movie. At the conflict between humans and machines was something that was building up since the first movie. And I agree with that. But given the storyline and the pacing in Matrix Revolutions, the war of humans versus machines is a waste of time. It, it's important. Its importance is rendered completely futile thanks to the storyline of Agent Smith. Agent Smith is the true antagonist of the movie, okay? He is the one person that can kick everybody's asses. So machines are kicking humans' asses, but then when Neo reaches the big giant head, that conflict stops in its tracks. It loses any kind of dramatic weight because, of course, Agent Smith is the true antagonist of the story. And the war up until that point only served as a delay until the real fighting starts because Agent Smith is the one threat that is available for everybody. The machines have everything handed to them on a silver plier because Neo goes up to the big giant head and says, look man, there's a guy fucking your shit up, raping your churches, burning your women, why don't you let me deal with the situation, in return you just don't go crazy and kill some humans. And of course the machines get everything that they want, of course they're going to agree to a truce. And this is another argument that Like and Fan makes, that um, Matrix ended very simple, Ma the Matrix series ended with a simple solution which is peace and which made everybody happy, made the machines happy, made the humans happy. Now of course the machines were happy at the end of Matrix Revolutions, they got everything they wanted. They got somebody to take care of Agent Smith for them and they still get to keep more than half of the humans or something like that because the humans only can choose whether to remain in the Matrix or not. And furthermore, how stupid is, is it that Neo needs to tell the machines that Agent Smith is a threat? I mean, don't they know what happens in their own backyard? All I'm saying is that all the Matrix series follow the same pattern. Get Neo to something, somewhere, someone. Get Neo to the Oracle in the first one. Get Neo to the archi Architect in the second one. Get Neo to the Source, to the big giant head, in the third one. It's the same pattern over and over again with whatever happens falling in the background. And the war of humans versus machines should not fall in the background. It should be important. It should be dramatic. And all I'm saying is think how much better it would have been if they simply took that and moved it to the second movie. So have the second movie be about the attack on Zion and getting Neo to the source and make the third movie be about humans and machines working together to bring down Agent Smith. So you have both sides working together towards a common goal and this will lead to a truce that certainly rings more true between humans and machines because they will both have lost things in the war against Agent Smith and they will both have the ability to trust each other because they were fighting each other. 
And that's what I'm saying. I think that Matrix, Revo Matrix Reloaded was a huge waste of time from this point. The, the whole movie was about getting Neo to the architect so the architect can tell him some bullshit about how everything happened before and will happen again. Whereas the third movie, it was all about Agent Smith versus Neo. That should have been the dramatic core of the movie. And while I, I agree that the fight between Agent Neo and uh, poof, Agent Neo, poof, Agent Smith and Neo was a great way to finish the series, it still rendered two thirds of the movie completely useless. And um, that's pretty much what I think about Matrix Revolutions. Um, I started talking about Like and Fans video, but I feel like I deviated a lot, kind of just ranting about Matrix Revolutions. But I do agree with a lot of the points that he made. I agree that, that philosophically speaking, it was the best way to finish the movie. But from the point of view of the storyline and the way a storyline progresses, it was too convoluted. Too much stuff crammed in there that didn't have the time to properly develop and reach the dramatic weight that it needed. And overall, like I said, um, this series could have evolved a lot better if they used the time in Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revolutions better in order to have like a truly symmetrical, lovely little piece of filmmaking to stand the test of time and I'm really babbling right now. So yeah, Matrix Revolutions.